Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Riley, and in today's video, we are starting a new series called Fix It. And in this series, we will take clubs that are struggling for whatever reason and do our best to improve them. Simple as that, right? Well, not really. But each video will consist of a new club. In this video, obviously, as you can tell, we are doing Norwich. And the premise is we will go in, we will look at their situation, uh, bring in some new players, do what we can with their transfer budget or their financial situation allows for, and try to improve them, implement tactics that work, hopefully, and see if we can achieve better than what is currently happening in real life. So let's get started. And this won't be a every day or I don't know how often we'll do these kind of videos, but to start things off, we will jump in with Norwich. So, Norwich have today confirmed the appointment of Riley Canuck as the club's new manager. Very exciting. All that other stuff is just the typical, he's the new manager. Yay! Uh, so, the media prediction is for us to finish in 20th, which is not far off from uh, real life. And, yeah, we will look at the squad in a little bit more detail in a moment here. But uh, let's see what they want us to do. Fight bravely against relegation. Reach the fifth round and reach the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Uh, play away possession football. Sign pleasure on the age of 21 for the future. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. So what's going to happen is the season hasn't started yet, obviously. So I'm going to go through the squad, look to see what changes could be made, look at their financial situation, and... After I do that, I am going to play ahead. We'll play ahead all the way until the January transfer window. And then we'll see how we're doing. And then we'll play ahead again until the end of the season. So this video will consist of preseason, January transfer window, and then the end. And the goal, obviously, we need to be realistic here. We know Norwich is not going to get Champions League football after this season. What we hope to achieve is to keep them in the Premier League. They need that stability. They need that financial stability, really, in order to continue moving forward to improve their club. So that's what we're going to do here, or at least attempt to do here. So looking at the overall balance, so they have some money, um, and they don't have a lot of, yeah, debt-wise, they're good too. So that is great. Uh, looking at projections, they are only going to go up in the balance department. So that is great. And we do have some transfer budget to play with. Not much wage budget, that's for sure. But there's a little bit of transfer budget, so that's something at least. And uh, let's look at the squad and make decisions on what we should do. Uh, so first things first, Timo Puki. 31-year-old Finnish international, 94 caps, 30 goals for Finland. And he plays as an advanced forward. I love playing with advanced forwards. Um, the issue with him is obviously his age, 31 years old. But like his pace isn't terrible at 15. His finishing is some, like 16. Like He's not a terrible Premier League player, but he's also not typical starting like he's always going to be the man up top number nine kind of premier league player but he is for norwich uh looking elsewhere we have milo rashika rash rashika let's say that he's from kosovo 25 year old uh 32 caps six goals great so winger is his natural position, but it looks like uh, he's also a winger up top as well. Uh, he lacks most stats. <laughs> Pace is 15, and then everything else. Like crossing isn't terrible. Dribbling is not terrible. Honestly, he's a winger. He's not, he's not a, a striker. He's a winger, which is fine. We need wingers too, but, you know. Uh, looks like we have someone on loan. From West Brom for 30000 a week. 29-year-old uh, Jordan Hugill. He comes from West Brom, as I said. Wait, 
No, he's at West Brom. He is our player. Okay. So he is on loan at West Brom. Whatever. Really, he should be sold. 29 years old. He's not here on a lot of money, but still. Uh, next, we have Josh Sargent. He is American. 16 caps for America. Uh, pressing forward. And he's 21. He's got four and a half, five-star potential, which is great. But again, he should not be like a regular first-team player. He doesn't have the stats for that. Whatever. So next, Christos. Oh, how do I say that? Zolis. Let's just go with that. He is a 19-year-old Greek international, and he's got a lot of good potential too. That is fantastic for him. Uh, he's a winger. Play on the left side mostly. Could be an attacker, but five star potential. Pretty good. Pretty good. Happy with that. Um, who else do we have here? Next, Adam Ida. Twenty year old Irish international. Seven caps for Ireland and four and a half star potential. Like, they actually have quite a few good young prospects, but the issue is they're not Premier League players right now. Like good players, sure. Premier League player, no. Uh, next we have twenty-three-year-old Englishman Kieran Dowell. Um, yeah, he can play as an attacking midfielder. Same kind of deal. Lacks most things. Uh, Todd Cantwell. Same deal as well. He can play on the left. He can play as an attacking midfielder, but lacks real. Mm. There's not much to him, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, Pierre Le Melo. Oh, wait. He's a box-to-box midfielder. Um, He's been with us only for the year. We got him for a cheap deal, so that's good. And looking at his stats... Everything's kind of similar. It's all just like meh, meh kind of thing. Um, so we have a loan guy here. Monthly playing fee, 170, so 25,000 per week. And nine caps for Norway. Deep line playmaker. Again, eh. Is there anyone else? Jacob Sorensen. 23-year-old, ball-winning midfielder. Not a whole lot to write home about. That, I will say. Uh, Grant Hanley is a Scottish defender. It's just... I don't know. This is probably a bigger project than I uh, thought I was getting myself into. Another Greek left back here. A good pace. He's bad. He's actually not that bad. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we do have Max Aaron's. That is someone I know. Ooh, look at that. Look at that money though. If we could get him for that, like if we could sell him for that much money, I might be interested. I might be interested in. Uh, yeah, I might actually sell him. We'll see. Uh, Tim Cruel, not a player that I think should be here anymore. You should go. Angus Gunn should be our keeper. I'm just throwing that out there right now. Who else do we have here in uh, defense? Ben Gibson, another older player. Hmm, I feel like I can do better. Zimmerman, 28-year-old German defender. Eh, honestly, a lot of the squad is the same. It's a lot of old players. I don't like that. We need to change it up a bit. We need to scout. But yeah, we actually do need to improve our squad. So I will try to look at that. Players like Sean Longstaff would do it. Uh, whoever this fellow is, he is cheap. Ezekiel Barco. How much has he been scouted? Wow, not even that much, and they're saying, sign him, whatever the price. 
All right, well, does he even want to come to us? That's part of the thing. Admin and release clause, yes. Ooh, that I could actually get him for cheap, potentially. I'm just going to do it, because we need players. An improved offer will need to be submitted. Wow. What about percentage of next sale? How about that? Let's try that, because I don't plan to be here that long. George McCarron. We don't want championship standard. We don't want championship standard. We're not a championship team. What are you guys doing to me? He's a leading ugh, League One player. Oh, come on, boys. What kind of scouting is this? All right, well, I'm going to stop for a second and say I'll be back in a minute because we are going to go off now and see if we can sign some players, implement a tactic, sign an assistant coach apparently, and uh, yeah, we'll be back before the season starts to review our progress. So stay tuned. After a very long time, it actually hasn't been that long in game, we have concluded our business. Uh, the season is about to begin. We have a game against West Ham tomorrow on the 14th. So let's take a look at the players that we were able to bring in. Uh, so players that I brought in, first things first, Phil Jones. What did you say? I did every United fan a huge favor by getting this man off the books. I'm surprised he came with to us because... Uh, yeah, 2.6 million. It could be more, but he has to actually play it for us. And apparently he's not very high in the depth chart, so I don't actually see him playing anytime soon, which is fine. It's just fine. Uh, next up, we have uh, Julian Alvarez, 21-year-old Argentinian international, two caps for that country. And he'll be our striker, mostly. Uh my most, I mean, like, yeah, he'll be playing a striker. And $7 million. <laughs> Pretty good deal, though. Uh, he comes from River. Uh, another player brought in a winger, Bruno Tabata. Bruno Tabata, 24-year-old Brazilian. And he's got a great first touch. Dribbling's good. Uh, technique's good. Vision's good. So hopefully he can become a uh, menace on the right side of the field. Uh, who else? Who else? Ah, Ezekiel Barco. He is a, uh, well, he could play winger or he could play as the attacking midfielder. Uh, he will do either of those. I'm not too sure. But he comes from Atlanta United in the United States for 3.5. So we actually did a little bit of business and I'm actually quite happy with it. Um, uh, I know there are other YouTubers or content creators that have done similar saves and there's a little bit of overlap uh, I've seen Julian Alvarez get signed by players. Um, Ezekiel Barco I've seen sometimes, but uh, Bruno Tabata and unfortunately Phil Jones is the other piece of business that I've done. Uh, guys that I've sold, uh, Kenny McLean, 29-year-old Scotsman. Uh, she's 29 years old. Just thought it would be good to get him off the books. Uh, Tim Krul as well, 33-year-old Dutchman. Uh, he's not going to be starting, so I figured I would cash in while I could, because Angus Gunn will be our starting goalkeeper, which I think will be great. So, we are ready for the season. I don't know to what to expect. The Premier League has no faith in us whatsoever. Um, actually, the season preview before was us in 20th, and we're 19th now, so... We're getting there. We're getting there. I don't actually know what will happen with us, if anything, but uh, <sighs> we shall see. But like I said, the point of this this series is not to gain promotion or anything like that, but to achieve what the board wants of us, and that's to fight bravely against relegation. The goal is I want to not get relegated like Norwich does every single season. Fingers crossed, and let's see you at the January transfer window. 2,000 years later. Just a little bit of an update. We are just about to hit 
January and enter the next uh, transfer window. So, Premier League, we are currently sitting at 14th. And honestly, we've kind of just stayed around that area for the most part. But we are out of relegation. So that is something, at least. <sighs> something, but not everything, of course. So it looks like we got knocked out in the Caribou Cup third round. That's embarrassing. So we had nice victories. Uh, a 2-0 victory against Crystal Palace. Aston Villa, Southampton, and Wolves we've beat. That was a nice little bit of run of form we had. And then, yeah, the opposite happened. Uh, but then we came back with victories against Brentford and Brighton and a draw against Newcastle. So overall, things are going... Yeah, it, it's kind of what you expect. It's better than real life... Uh, What's it called? Real life Norwich. Yeah, we're doing better than real life Norwich, but it still leaves a lot to be desired at this point. 19 matches in. Uh, and then when you look at our star players, um, some that stand out, Ozan Kabak. He is on loan from um, Schalke. And... Yeah, he's having a good season so far. He has three goals, 7.09. He's not obviously one of our players. The last five games, Angus Gunn has really stepped it up. Um, he's got a 7.03, which is great. He's got five clean sheets. Not bad. Uh, who else? Obviously, a callback. Um, Ezekiel Barco has been playing fairly well. Uh, 17 appearances, six goals, two assists. Not terrible. Not terrible indeed. Uh, other than those guys, other bright spots are Christoph Zimmerman. Uh, he's doing not too bad, I guess. Wait, what? Yeah, he's only played once. Why is his uh, rating so high? He's only had one, one match. Well, one match in the league, I guess. Whatever. Uh, other players. Here, let's just take a look. If you look here, we can see our uh, top scorers. Uh, obviously, Julian Alvarez has eight goals. He's not doing terribly. Could be better, though. Max Aaron has six six assists. And, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of it. Nothing, nothing too crazy going on here in Norwich. But uh, we are doing better than I... Not better than I thought, but better than... We're reaching our goals, but we still have the rest of the season to go. So there is that. So we will continue forward. Well, we'll go through this transfer window and see if we can make any moves happen. If we can either sell players or, well, we need to sell in order to reinvest because our finances are looking. And we got a little bit of transfer budget, actually. Not a lot, though. We don't have a lot of wage budget. So we kind of need to sell players in order for that to be helpful. So... Let's hold tight and see if we can make some business happen. So January has come and gone. It is now February 1st. And it did, we did okay. We did okay. So we started off the month with a 1-0 loss to Tottenham. Then we went on to draw against West Ham in the FA Cup third round. So we had to play them again where we won 2-1. Fabulous. And we also beat Watford 5-3. But then we lost consecutive games against Everton and Man United. So no real surprise there, I guess. So currently we are sitting at a comfortable 15th place in the league. Wolves is just ahead of us, which is interesting. And Newcastle is just behind us, despite all the money that they have. But regardless, it's fine. So what we did in the transfer window was not a whole lot. We brought in this guy. He's the only guy we brought in. Teddy Charmin Lowe. He is a goalkeeper. He has four-star potential ability, 18-year-old Englishman. And, yeah, I brought him in for that much money from Burton in League One. Uh, pretty much the only reason I did that is because we only had old goalkeepers. And Angus Gunn went down for a little while. So we needed someone to come in. Where is he? Current, no, current injuries. Twisted ankle. And, yeah, he's going to be out for another week so 
that is fine. But we're going to move forward to the end of the season and see how we did. See if we can avoid relegation. If we can, awesome. If we can't, well, maybe I won't be posting this video. <laughs> so hang tight. Many months later. So the season is finally over. And I am happy to say we did not get relegated. Did we do fantastic? No. Did we do better than expected? Yes, we meet we met expectations. So that is great. Honestly, we exceeded them because we fought bravely against relegation and in the end we did not get relegated, which is great. We only won 9 games, which is less than ideal, but we did finish with 34 points. So, eh, could have been worse. So, we did finish 15th, which is awesome. Uh we got a new transfer budget of 35 million pounds. So, great and let's just take a look at the squad see how we uh ended up doing um i think goalkeeper wise though i'm not sure how many matches teddy started he only did two i guess uh four goals conceded so not the best not the best uh who else to look at angus gun obviously was the guy that started most of the matches 35 with 70 goals conceded eight clean sheets uh that's not all on him, obviously. Our team was not very good. Um, Ozan Kabak looked like he was our best player with a 7.03, 36 appearances, 4 goals, 1 assist. And by best player, I mean definitely best defensive player, that is. Um, Christoph Zimmerman didn't really play very often, so it's kind of like whatevs. Uh, ben Gibson played quite a bit, but did not play well. So if I were to stay playing with Norwich, I would be selling Mr. Uh, Gibson as soon as I could. Uh, Phil Jones also was less than ideal. Uh, he is here for one more year. So I'd, I'd honestly try to sell Phil Jones as well. And Grant Hanley, despite being our skipper, um, he played better than the other two, but he played a lot less. Uh, Max Ahrens, obviously... One of the bright spots in the team. Also had a poor season. Despite playing 37 appearances, he had a 6.64 average rating. Who else was a bright spot? Not many. Let's see how Brandon Williams did. I'm a Brandon Williams fan, but yeah, he also struggled here. Um, so Probably would not try to keep him longer than need be. Uh, let's go on the attack. Uh, Julian Alvarez, some of our new signings. Let's look at them. He played 34 times for us, 13 goals, 6 assists. So he did okay. He did okay. For what we paid, he uh, did okay for us. Uh, other guys like Josh Sargent, for example, only played 7 times. Uh, Adam Ida, I doubt he played very often as well. Yeah, he didn't actually play for us. Should have stayed out on loan. That's my bad. Todd Cantwell, how did you do? Wow, four and a half star potential ability now. That is pretty awesome. Only 12 appearances though. I am not sure why that's the case. 6.51. Yuck. Not that great. Um, Ezekiel Barco, four and a half star potential ability. Played 34 times, nine goals, three assists. So he was okay. He could be a he could be a squad player for us moving forward. Bruno Tabata, four star potential ability. Yeah, another squad player. It, I think we have a whole squad of squad players, so that's less than ideal. Pierre Lise Melo. So he's been out for a little bit. Expected to be out for a while more. So that is not ideal. So I don't know. For the most part, the season went... Well, it did go better than what we had hoped. Uh, for example, fight bravely against relegation. We did that. So... Eh, that's all you can ask for, right? We uh, did what we were supposed to. It was not realistic to assume that we were going to get mid-table or higher, that we were going to get Champions League or Europa League. That's not... Yeah, it just wasn't going to happen with, uh, with the squad that we have, with the budget that we have. So I think, like I said, if I were to stay here at Norwich, there are moves I would make. Uh, I would try to bring in definitely a better defender. We need a better center back. Uh, I think goalkeeper is a fine position. Angus Gunn would be able to hold us down. Obviously, there's right back that uh, is a, a big plus for us with Max Ahrens. 
potentially I would try to sell him, try to recuperate some money and reinvest it into other players. Uh, left back is an area of concern. So a left back, a center back, probably a more dynamic midfielder of some kind, and a uh, more dynamic attacker. So those four positions, areas of the team, is what I would do. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's, uh, like I said, a little bit different than other videos that I've done in the past. And I do plan on doing more videos like this. I don't know what club I'll do next. Uh, Norwich is what I decided to do this time just because they kind of suck in real life. But if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. I obviously read the comments, mostly because I don't get any comments. And there's a good chance that no one's even watching the video to this point. But if you are, guess what? I love you. Thank you very much. So leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.